So we are going to secure this tube. In real life, I would never let go of the tube. Um, I would always have somebody holding and securing the tube to make sure the patient doesn't start to thrash around, the tube does not come loose. Um, but since he's a mannequin and completely comatose, I'm gonna let go of the tube and do this as a one-man job. If the patient was moving around some, you would need help doing this. But I'm gonna prepare my tape real quick. I uh, showed you how to do that in a different video. So if you need to know how to prepare your own tape, if you don't have commercially prepared tape available, or if you need to know how to make it so that one day, if the commercially prepared endotracheal tube holders are not available, you could secure a tube the old fashioned way, like I'm doing now. working around the mouth and really don't want to put my hands in somebody else's mouth without gloves. Um, first couple times you take practice taping the tube, you need to make sure, um, try doing it without gloves and then add the gloves after you are a little comfortable with the technique because it's really difficult to do with gloves on. All right, so I'm going to start. I would thread this up under the patient's neck. There are a couple of different ways you can do it. Some people hold it like this. Some people, instead of sticking the tape to themselves, will stick it to a popsicle or a tongue depressor. Any way you do it, is, as long as it secures the tube, will be appropriate. All right. The number one thing I need to do is make sure when I go to tube this tape, this tube, that I'm at the marking after I had intubated him, I verified tube placement with a... CO2 detector, condensation in the tube, I visualized it going through the vocal cords, chest expansion bilaterally, no gastric um, air movement with breaths, and um, a x-ray if you had had time at this point. Alright, I've got to start taping it to the side, up to the side, and then I'm going to rip where I had made the notch and flap down to where that corner is. I will go the bottom part of the rip goes over the top part of the lip. Make sure you have your palate balloon out of the way. And now we are going to go around three or four times. Making sure that we are doing it tight. That we are keeping the tube at the correct marking, which is the 22, to make sure the person who's holding it keeps it steady and doesn't push the tube in or pull the tube out. We want to make sure it stays at the right marking. I'll go around three or four times. Make sure there's a flap at the end so that the next therapist won't have a difficult time retaping the tube. And now I have this in here. It's a little long, so I'm going to tear it off, just secure it there. And now this top part, I'm going to pull out and make sure that it's long enough to be able to wrap around the tube a couple of times after it goes over the top of the mouth. So, there we go. Make my V again, like I did with the last one. part goes over the lip. The bottom part of the tear goes around the tube. Go around three or four times. Make sure that there's the flap so that the patient, the next therapist, can take it off easily. I've got excess over here. It goes down past their ear and to the back of their hair. I don't want to stick to their hair, so I'll rip off part of this. Make sure I'm still secure. The tape is secure to the face. If they had been really sweaty or dirty, I may have to clean, wipe them off with some saline and let them dry. Um, sometimes we have to put, if they are allergic to tape, um, different type of skin barriers on there so that the tape is not directly on the skin. But we really need a good hold. If they had a beard and we had a whole time 
a hard time keeping the tube secure. We may have to shave part of their beard or clip it real short so that we can get to the skin. Um, make sure it's tight. I can put two fingers in, not too much, and I can lift the head without the tube moving too much. And I know I have a nice secure tube, and if he does any moving around, he will not accidentally extubate himself. That is how you secure an endotracheal tube.